Hi, it's July 22nd, Sunday, about 9 o'clock p.m. I have about one hour's worth of homework left to do for my Ed Psych class. And then I definitely have to watch The Bachelorette and see who Emily chooses as her future husband. That's thrilling to me. I love that stuff. Um, week two went really well. It was, it was a good week. Uh, I was quite overwhelmed by all of the reading that we had. We probably have at least 100 pages a night to read um, all combined and it's been well for me it's been impossible to keep up with although I am um, a language arts teacher I am not a fast reader and it becomes challenging for me to continue comprehending everything I'm reading once I get to like the hour and a half two hour point of the night um, so you know, I, I know we should be held to higher expectations and standards. We are master students, and I want to be held to those standards. Um, I just haven't quite figured out how to get it all done in order to, to be able to thoroughly comprehend it and then discuss it the following day. Um, the good thing is, is that we discuss a lot of things as a group the following day, which, which helps my understanding and comprehension level. Um, also, I really love what I'm learning, so it doesn't make it seem as much like homework. I do have a couple of classes that um, are requiring very similar papers to be turned in in like a week to two weeks, and they're both six to eight page papers. Um, and again, they're very similar. I I don't know that I'm going to have the time to actually do two different topics. So I'm hoping that will be okay um, with my professors, but I know that myself as well as my peers, um, you know, we all have similar concerns in that area, so I know we're going to talk about it and discuss it with them this week. Um, in Teacher Moves, we're actually learning about, or we learned about the behavior management cycle, and that was pretty cool. Um, I hold myself to very high standards and want to be able to institute everything that I've learned and all of the theories and models 100% um, all yesterday and that's not possible I don't think <laughs> but that's what I want and that's what I'm going to um, try to do in the coming weeks I'm super excited about finding out my placement this week and I really I really hope to get a track e-school because I'm ready to get started I'm ready to get in the classroom I'm ready to actually practice what we're preaching I'm ready to be in front of those kiddos and, and, you know, get to know them, learn who they are, and do my best to, to teach them and, and give them the opportunity to learn um, because that's, that's what I was put here to do. Um, we did a lot of cool things in class this week, especially in TIE, our technology class. We created Google presentations and an extra normal video which I had never even heard of so that was pretty fun I'm still a little fuzzy on the understanding by de design lesson planning I'm hoping we get more clarification on that or m maybe even a couple examples real life examples from the beginning to the end um, this week uh, it's it's kind of hard to have a whole group discussion without um, Professor Hansen there facilitating it, but I think it's really good practice for all of us because we're learning how to work as a team and, you know, when to be quiet and when to talk, and I think it's good practice, so I like that planning aspect of it. Um, I guess just to end, I have kind of a funny story. I was talking in my sleep the other night, and my boyfriend woke me up and said, Mary Beth, it's so freaky whenever you talk in your sleep. You don't even talk in your real voice. And I was sort of minimally awake, and I said, I'm planning a lesson, and I'm teaching it, and I'm, I'm teaching in my strong voice. That's why it's different. Um, so hopefully that shows how much I'm actually getting out of class and that um, I'm taking it very seriously because I'm even trying it in my sleep. That's all for now.